What's up, everybody? This is Tim from Arm Wrestling Secrets, and today I wanted to talk about the extinction of arm wrestling. Okay, so if you watched my first video on Do Not Move to Hawaii, I talked about the reasons that um, they're making arm wrestling so difficult there is their pandemic response. Okay, so uh, all over the country, they're having a different response to the same pandemic. So if you look at my background right now, I'm at my second home here on the mainland, uh, USA. Fantastic. I wanted to say something. Um, what I noticed right away when I got here um, as all the little kids running around, they weren't wearing masks. In Honolulu or in Hawaii, everyone wears a mask, okay? Um, all the kids are going to school without a mask. In Hawaii, all the kids have a mask, okay? In Honolulu, everyone walking around, inside, outside, everywhere is wearing a mask. Here, there's no limitations, there's no restrictions, there's no masks. Okay, so I wanted to, to say something. So a lot of you guys, um, it's, and I'm talking to you guys in the United States, obviously there's people watching from around the world and you're all going through, your, through a different response to this pandemic, but that's what you're witnessing in different cities all around the country, like New York City, as compared to Florida, you're seeing a completely different response, okay? The uh, disease is no different. Okay, so it's the response. And what I'm going to say to you might be a little bit shocking, but I have to say it, okay? And this is um, just to say that uh, the response to what's going on right now with this pandemic is to remove your rights as a person. It's to take your rights. It's to oppress the people. Okay, and keep in mind, in a lot of cities, Honolulu included, um, they are segregating society based on compliance. Okay, now that's exactly what's going on in New York City. Like they have a, um, a special pass, a health pass, okay, to get into restaurants and bars and gyms and clubs. That's just to segregate society from the compliant and the non-compliant. Okay, they're saying, oh, it, it's to keep everybody safe. Um, no, it's not. It's not, it's meant to segregate society. And um, what I've said is the cities that are going along with this uh, segregation program, um, they're going to be utterly destroyed. And my warning to you people, all you guys that are watching the channel, I care about all you guys, all, all you arm wrestlers, the only people I can affect are the people watching the channel. And what I want to say is, as I said in the first video, if you value your freedom and your family, you better wake up right now. If you live in one of those cities that is starting to segregate society and they're starting to fire all the firefighters and all the nurses and all the doctors and everyone else who doesn't want to comply with this program, if you stay in those cities, I'm telling you, wait one year or two years and you will be a dependent peasant and you won't be living in a free state anymore or a free city anymore. And you can wait to find out what I'm talking about or you can take action and move your family while you still have a chance. A class action lawsuit will be filed against the state and county worker COVID vaccine mandate. Some 1,200 first responders say they should not be forced to get vaccinated or be tested regularly in order to keep their job. Manolo Morales reports. The attorneys announced that they plan to file the lawsuit on Friday in order to try to stop the mandate, which takes effect on Monday. This one is on behalf of police officers, firefighters, and other first responders. They're just asking for the chance to choose. Everyone is a personal, autonomous health care decision, and everyone should make their own choice whether or not they want to take a vaccine or not. I have to choose between that career that I've committed to or put in like an experimental drug that I don't know what it's going to do to me in my body or I, or I got to give all that up. HFD Captain Kaimi Pelikai says the city just sent county workers a letter saying they either have to get vaccinated or show proof of religious or medical exemption by Monday or they could lose their job. 
If you want your freedom and you want to protect your family and you want them and you to have a normal life, wake up right now. Wake up right now and realize what I said. They are oppressing society. They are using this pandemic as a means of controlling society and they are segregating the compliant and the non-compliant people, meaning people that won't just do whatever they're told. They don't want those people in society. That's what this is about. That being said, you guys know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next one.